Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which Microsoft pushed out late yesterday on the 28th in my region. And the update is optional. So you don't have to install it unless you have this toggle turned on, then it becomes a mandatory update. And if you don't install the update now, as you may well know, the improvements and fixes will roll out next month on the second Tuesday, the 10th of June, as part of the compulsory patch Tuesday security update. Now for this month, the optional update for Windows 10 is KB5058481. And this was in preview a couple of days ago and has now made its way into the stable release of Windows 10. Now we do get three highlights for 5058481. And the first is Microsoft says that it brings back the clock that displays seconds onto the calendar that was once removed. And it was kind of been removed for some and not others. Uh, before updating to this new device, it was removed on my old Windows 10 device and on the new device, it was never removed. But nonetheless, if that clock was removed, according to Microsoft, it should be back. And then while we are talking about the calendar fly out, if you have calendar installed on your Windows 10 device, then Microsoft says it's enhancing the rich calendar feature by extending the upcoming events period to 30 days. And it's also adding description text for the weather button in the rich calendar feature. Now, I don't have calendar installed. I have no reason to use it on Windows 10. So that's why I'm not seeing those features. But check those out um, if you have the calendar app installed. So three highlights rolling out for the calendar fly out. Then we get a couple of improvements, which are mainly bug fixes. I'm just going to mention these because there's just a couple just to keep you guys posted and in the loop. There are two fixes for GDR and GDR Plus. Now GDR stands for Graphics Device Interface and is an app program interface API used for displaying information on screens and printers in Windows. So it's quite an important part of the OS. And there are two rendering issues that have been fixed with GDR and GDR+. And they've also updated the country and operator settings asset profiles um, for mobile operator profiles. And then the last one to mention is a fix for an issue affecting the Windows account sync consent system in the European economic area markets, so this is region specific, where secondary accounts were not acknowledged leading to increased server load. And if you do decide to install the update, if we just head to our search quickly to search for about Windows, the OS build for 22H2 will be sitting on 19045.5917 after this update has been installed. And I have been noticing, and as you have most probably noticed as well, the Windows 10 updates now are really just rolling out security and bug fixes for the OS until end of support is reached. There's not too much focus on new front-facing features, which I think is to be expected. And also I think that makes a lot of Windows 10 users quite happy when Microsoft is rolling out stability fixes and performance fixes for Windows 10 with the updates instead of packing a whole lot of new features, which to some extent or the other can introduce a whole lot of bugs. But nonetheless, that's an optional C release update for this month for Windows 10 22 H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.